it actually reason codes are used for multiple purposes. So they are the short codes that you can give for different different transactions or different different situations. You can give reason codes mostly for some reversal transactions and uh, normal transaction reversals or check reversals or any other type of correction transactions. They'll use these reason codes. So just to indicate why they are correcting it or why they are reversing it. Why they are reversing that particular check so that reason can be added. Suppose if that check is printed with wrong amount, error in the amount can be a reason code. So I can I'll configure a reason code as error in the amount. So now I, I can quickly assign that while I am reversing that check so that whenever someone who sees the transaction with the reverse transaction, they'll try to understand that this check is reversed because there is an error in the amount. Or this user does reverse this transaction or done cancelled one of the transaction because of some or the other reason. So for not only for reversal of transaction for any transaction while you post it, you can give reason code. Normal general general transaction also while you post it, you can give why you are posting the transaction. You can give how many other reason codes you want and you can use those reason codes for different different purposes and you can assign them to different transactions where in lot of places you can give reason codes. OK, so first let us see how we can configure the reason codes. So in order to use them, we have to configure, right? So let's see them. So I mean general ledger. Actually, reason codes are unique for every module, but through general ledger, you can create reason codes for all the modules. There are two set two things in general ledger. So I'll show you that. Uh, I think you can see it here in general setup, general ledger. Journal setup. I see ledger reasons and financial reasons. Ledger reasons and financial reasons. Ledger reasons are confined to only general ledger module, which means if I create a reason code here, it is only used in general ledger module. But if I create a reason code in financial reasons, this one I can enable it to be used for any module. So first that first let us see how we can configure a reason code in this one financial reasons. OK. So general ledger, journal setup, financial reasons. General ledger, journal setup and financial reasons. So I'm clicking on financial reasons. So it's an empty form here. I can create a new reason code. So I clicked on new. I can give a reason code. I can give reason code number 01. So default comment I can give it as the same that we discussed him on. error in amount. OK, I, I can enable this for ledger. As well as for fixed assets module bank means cash and bank management module customer means accounts receivable module vendor means. Accounts payable module so customer reason vendor reason bank reason and asset reason you can give it as. There are certain situations where fix uh, reason code is mandatory for posting some transactions. Suppose for check reversal, you can enable a parameter that whenever some user is reversing a check or reversing a deposit slip, they should definitely give a reason code. So without giving appropriate reason code, system will not allow them to reverse that particular check or deposit slip. In the same way, while you reverse any other transactions, you can give a mandatory reason code or you can give such kind of conditional parameters so such that users cannot reverse them normally. They have to give an appropriate reason why they are reversing such transactions for tracking purpose. They they will be useful. OK, here in financial reasons I told you right whenever I can I create a reason code I can use it in different modules. So in the finance and financial is I created right in general ledger I can use if I enable this tick mark. I can use the same reason code in bank cash and bank management also if I enable this tick mark. I can use this same in accounts payable and accounts receivable and fixed assets if I enable all the tick marks. So within general ledger only I can create reason codes for all the modules. Again in all the modules I'll separately have reason codes. I'll show you that too. Suppose if I go to cash and bank management. So where it is I'm searching for it. So here it is cash and bank management. Under cash and bank management. I can see bank reasons see here. So if I click on bank reasons, so I see it's an I see it's an empty form actually. 
normally this should show up according to me, but it's not showing up. OK, so here in cash and bank management again, I have separate reason codes. So within cash and bank management again, there are different different situations like purpose code cancellation reason and all so I can create one and I can also enable them here like I can create a new code and I can give it as a purpose code or cancellation code for different I mean check cancellation or deposit slip cancellation like that. So we will see this. Re uh, reasons for I mean reason codes in cash and bank management during cash and bank management. OK, we will discuss it in every module. So in general ledger normally we can create reason codes for all the modules at a time here. So or else we can use them in the financial reasons. So I can also create one more. Uh, I can say it as. Just anything OK, you can also say as monthly rent. So monthly rents are always posted to ledger, right? So I'm enabling it only for ledger. I can say. Something mismatches it's for some adjustment journals we used to post right accounting mismatches adjustments so i'll just create one reason code so i'll create here in ledger only for ledger so now i have created three reason codes under financial reasons and i have enabled it for different different modules okay now if i go to the same page general ledger journal setup only under that I have ledger reasons other than financial reasons. I have ledger reasons which are specific for general ledger only. So if I go to ledger reasons, I can see these three automatically reflecting here. Got it. So the three that I have created are automatically reflecting for ledger. Here automatically. Suppose if I go for accounts receive accounts payable module here. Under setup, I think I'll have this vendor reasons. So here I have vendor reasons under setup accounts payable setup and vendor reasons. Suppose if I go for vendor reasons, I can see this. I can see three of them showing up here, but I can use only one because in the three reasons that I have configured, I gave one for vendor. I have enabled only one reason code error in amount, right? So here in under financial reasons where I have created this for accounts payable module or for vendors. I have enabled only one reason code so that one only showing up here as ticked remaining is also showing up, but they are not ticked means they cannot be used. If you tick them also here, you can also use them in accounts payable as well. Suppose if I click this month at accounts accounting mismatches adjustment and I refresh this here also if I refresh this see here this accounting mismatch adjustment is also enabled now for vendor automatically. So you can either do it here from general ledger for all the modules or you can individually do that in different different modules. So that's the concept of reason code. I mean that's how you can configure reason codes. So for each module you have separately. I mean. Vendor reasons, customer reasons, asset reasons, bank reasons and again you can also configure them from general ledger for all the modules at a time you can configure here under financial reasons. Only for general ledger you can configure here under ledger reasons. OK, suppose if I go to led ledger reasons, if I click on one more select 04. 04 I can select it as. Miscellaneous revenue suppose and I enable this for ledger, so only for ledger. I don't have other option here to select for other modules, but however, if I go to financial reasons again, so which is under ledger reasons here. I can see that code is created and it is active for ledger only for general ledger. So if I want the same code to be applicable to customers also, I can also enable it for customers. Here. So whenever wherever you create, so those will be reflected here under financial reasons or in, in all the models they will reflect. It's just that tick mark will not be enabled for them. So you can enable the tick mark and use them if you want in that module. So that's the whole concept of configuring reason codes. OK, so what how we use this reason codes once after configuring we'll see now.
it's very small concept actually and normally going to general lecture general journal so we will use this reason quotes in different different areas for now i'm showing for a small journal journal so i'm going for this journal journal number 33 If I go here, this is the one we created previously, right? So I'm going for this one where I am using rent expenses, right? I'm paying rent month here and under general. I can see reason code option. For one voucher, so this voucher I can see reason code. So I'm paying rent, right? So I'll select this monthly rent as the reason code. So I can see this reason comment automatically coming here as monthly rent. Whatever I configure here will come here. Or change it or add something else. So monthly rent August, you can add it like this. Edit it or however you want, no problem. OK, that's one part. Of how you can use reason codes. You can also make this field as a compulsory field. Sometimes there is a feature for making uh, any field as a compulsory field. So whenever they create a journal, they have to mandatorily give a reason code. It will show that field in red box. So there is a feature called designate the field as mandatory something. Yeah, actually that is I think that is the feature. If I enable that feature and if I come the, to this place and right click and keep it as a compulsory field, then it will work. Someday I'll show you in a different environment. I mean that's a small trick. But yeah, this is optional here for now. Um, giving a reason code for a journal is optional. So we have given for this watcher, right? Watcher number 26. Again, I'll click on watcher number 25 here. So for watcher number 25 also, I can give another reason code. So it's empty here. I can select one of the reason code. I mean, I don't find any relevant reason code here. If you don't find any reason code, you can give a comment or any other comment. Yes. Expenses. August. Or anything you can give. Power bill. Kind of reason anything without reason code. So reason codes are some unique numbers that you can give. You can give numbers or you can you also give alphabets or alphanumeric anything you can give. So I think just using this kind of number sequence I mean pattern that's all. So that's a very small concept case and we will use reason codes going further for reversals for cancellations. Don't worry. 